What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Steven here from Food Chain Feeders. And guys, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. That way you guys can have all the updates on our availability and all that fun stuff like that. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I uh, ship to you uh, big doobie road shorters like uh, 5,000 small dubias, uh, stuff like that. So um, I have it all laid out here in front of me and I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with and all the materials we're gonna be using. Um, so uh, that way you guys can expect, uh, that way you guys can see um, what to expect when you guys order doobie roaches from me uh, here at Food Chain Feeders. All right guys, so this is what we have here. So this is just some of the orders that we I have to ship out today. Here we have 5,000 small doobie roaches. And for orders like this, um, I am using the bags because um, for, you know, dubias, you need a little bit more ventilation when it's uh, this amount like this. Uh, when it's like 300 small like this, uh, you don't really need. Um, I ship them out in this size deli cup. And as you can see, we got some ventilation holes there on the top. Uh, 500 small dubias here. Um, I ship those out in a container like this. And as you can see, we got ventilation holes all around. And then we have some ventilation there holes on the top. Um, a thousand small dubias like this. Um, I will ship those in a tub, in a uh, deli cup this size here. And as you can see, we have more ventilation holes. And we also use rubber bands for the top of the container. These rubber bands here are gonna keep the, the lid from coming off. And that way uh, you guys have some safe dubias when they arrive to you. So uh, right now what I'm gonna do is, and of course, obviously we have the priority boxes, but when we ship, uh, uh, you know, high dollar amounts, uh, dubias like this. Um, I ship these in, so this is the priority box, but I ship them, uh, priority express. So usually it takes, uh, overnight. So, and then we also have a, uh, small flat rate box for the 300. So like I said, uh, shipping costs will vary. Um, it just depends on your order size. Um, if you have roach chow in your order, stuff like that, um, you know, I can fit a lot of dubias in a meat in box. This is our, the most popular. Here we have uh, five, another 5,000 small doobie roaches. And this is a lot of doobies here, guys. Uh, here we have another 5,000 here that's getting shipped out today as well. Um, just really, really great quality stuff as always. So... Like I said, what I'm gonna do now is put you guys on the tripod and you guys are gonna be able to see me uh, put the dubias into the deli cups, uh, you know, get them nice and ready to be shipped out um, and then put them into the box and all that fun stuff like that. So let's go ahead and uh, get that going. All right, cool. So uh, hopefully you guys can have to see a nice angle from here. And so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna work on the smaller orders first. Uh, so we'll do, and as you can see, I have it labeled here. So I know which is which um, you guys are, uh, ordering the dubious really really well so um okay so here we have 300 small dubious really really nice so these will go into this size deli cup and let's get them going so we'll get that going in there like that we'll wait a couple seconds before i put the lid on that way the dubious have time to uh, be able to climb out to the bottom and that way we won't be switching any dubious on the top so we'll give them uh, a second or two like that like that and they're smart they know uh, they know what and just like that guys so we have the lid on but i take it a step further and i add a high quality rubber band to the uh, container here that way um, nothing is being opened up or you know anything can happen so just to be safe uh we add a rubber band just like that take a look so it's gonna look just like that guys i'm not gonna ship it i'm not gonna pack it right now but i just want to give you guys an example so so we have the box here and the dubies go in there obviously we add packing paper i just want to give you guys a quick example so okay that one is done now we're gonna go ahead and move on to uh let me place it here okay now we're gonna move on to 500 small doobie roaches okay so this is 500 smalls so for these guys same procedure what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them off over here to the side and since the lid is a bit higher uh we can put the lid on these guys all uh, right away so same thing here, we're gonna go ahead and as you can see, all the doobies are climbing around, getting all into that uh, nice egg crate in there that I created for them, nice and tight. So that way they have a nice, uh, safe travel to their uh, destination. So, and guys, these are some very, very high quality rubber bands. So they, they, they won't rip or anything like that. Okay, very, very strong. And that's what we're looking for. As you can see, here it is, 500 small doobies. Okay, so 500 small. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on the thousand small doobie roaches. Okay, this is a thousand small. 
Okay. So as you can see, I have two layers of egg flats that I'm gonna do, and this one as well. So, but this is a much taller cup, so that way the dubious thousand small dubious will have a bit more space to climb on and go ahead and get comfy for their ride. So what we're gonna do is the same procedure. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, put them over here to the side. That way they can uh, travel nicely up into the egg, egg crate and have a safe trip and get to their destination very safely. As you can see, they're gonna start climbing into the egg crate and fill up all inside and they're gonna get nice and comfy and they're gonna like the dark area. So uh, they're gonna be very, very safe. And it's like, you guys can see we have some ventilation holes on top as well. So they're, and we're gonna go ahead and place the rubber band on our uh, belly cup over here as well. Okay. So, very nice. As you can see, these rubber bands don't play around. These are some very, very strong rubber bands. And boom, there you have it, guys. Take a look. This is a thousand small doobie roaches in here. So we'll give these guys a minute or two. That way they can get nice and comfy before we package them up. Um, I think you guys seen me do the whole packaging with packing paper and all that. Uh, so I'm kind of just showing you guys a new method with the deli cups um, because previously uh, we would do all of our orders with the shipping bags. Uh, with the, I'm sorry, the cloth bags. But now um, I only do uh, large quantities of dubia in the cloth bags because of that extra ventilation that the dubias need. So as you can see here, I have three layers of egg, of egg crate in there. Trust me guys, there's a lot of egg crate in there. But the dubias love it. They like small little tiny places where they can go and hide and they will feel safe for their travel. So um, yeah, so 5,000 small dubias in here. Um, and here we have them right here, guys. So 5,000 of them in this box right here. Okay, now. Um, I'm gonna have to fix the angle I can see on the camera there. Let me go ahead and fix that. All right, now you guys can get a better view on how I'm gonna do this. So first of all, what I do is I open the bag up. Okay, I have a nice area of where I'm gonna be. I have my rubber band ready, and what we're gonna do is go ahead and just get the doobies in there as fast as possible. That way, they don't climb into the cloth bag. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Okay. And as you can see, guys, they don't start climbing uh, up. They go right straight into the egg flat. Usually, um, you might have one or two that that you know want to come up, but for the majority of the part, uh, the majority of them want to go into the egg flat. Okay. And there it is, guys. So what you want to do is just kind of get them in there and make sure that none of them are going to get squished as soon as I'm going to try to bag. As you can see here. Okay, we have a couple scramblers over here, but don't worry. It's just a couple. Okay. So I'm just making sure that there's none of them on the outside. I don't want to squish any. Even if it's just one, I don't want to squish one. Um, so just, you got to be very patient. You can't freak out when you start seeing a bunch of doobies uh, go to the top. And just be very patient, guys. Eventually, all of them will start going down into the egg flat because uh, realistically, that's where they want to be. So just do a quick inspection over the bag, see where they're at. And I'll show you guys how it looks inside right now, because the majority of them are already inside the egg flat. Okay, we have one here. Okay, throw a little more in there. The rest of them. Okay, that's it. Take a look at how it looks inside, guys. So as you can see, there's not many of them, but they are all in the egg crate there. As you can see, not many of them are climbing up. That's how it looks inside. Okay, now let's go ahead and close this up. Okay, that's it. Get a nice seal here. Nice and tight. Once you seal this up, they won't they won't even try to come up no more um, because they want to go into the egg flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a knot here, and then we're going to go ahead and grab a rubber band, and we are going to close this up as tightly as possible. And trust me, these rubber bands can handle it. These are some very strong rubber bands, and it's much easier than zip ties for you guys. Uh, when you guys get the package, it'll be much easier than having to do it with uh, zip ties. Um, so like I said, right now there's a lot of doobies on the bottom here, so we're going to give these uh, like about five to ten minutes. We're just going to place them here. That way they have time to be able to uh, get comfortable, get into the egg crate before we go ahead and put them in the box. Okay. Now what we're going to do is the same process, we're going to do it again, all right? So here we have the same scenario, okay? Same idea, okay, egg, lots of egg crate, and a nice cloth bag, okay? So we're going to do the same, same thing here. Okay. All right, so you guys ready? Ready to see this again? All right, I'm a pro, okay, guys? Remember, don't try this at home, I'm a pro. I'm a professional, guys. Okay, here we go. Just kidding, I get a little, I get a little nervous as well. Here we go. Okay, okay, here we go. You just gotta give it a little shake or two, that way they can know, okay, it's time to go to the bottom. And trust me guys, you don't really have a lot of them coming up. Just one or two that kind of, you just gotta be fast with this. I mean, I don't know if you guys should do these or not, but you see we got one here? Okay, so just be, just be gentle with it. Like I said, you gotta have patience guys. Okay, that's my opportunity right there, close this up. As soon as I see that they're not coming up more and more, that's my opportunity to go ahead and close it up and give this bag a nice knot here at the top. Okay, once I have that knot there, it's time for our rubber bands. And like I said, guys, the reason why I don't do uh, large amounts of dubia in deli cups, like once you start getting over a thousand uh, dubias, regardless of size, uh, you start running into uh, ventilation problems. So because they, you know these dubias, they they, they kind of generate heat. So you, you don't want to overcrowd them in a, in a deli cup, um, even if there's holes. You know, they can only uh, deal with so many. Uh, you don't want to overcrowd them. So that's why uh, the cloth bags are another solution when shipping out large amounts of dubias, uh, whether they're small, medium, or large. Uh, the cloth bags are a great solution to shipping out large amounts. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, I just wanted to grab the camera and say a big thank you to all our customers. Um, local and you know uh, if I ship to you guys just want to say a big thank you to you uh, it's because of you why we're still here and why we're growing and we're able to do what we do so um, big thank you to you guys and uh, everybody who supports us here on our YouTube and our Instagram thank you guys so much right now what I have to do now is I obviously I packaged it but like I said we're waiting for 
all the dubias to get comfy and go into the egg crate. I give it about 10 minutes. And then from there we start using, um, well actually I grab my box here and then I start, uh, go ahead and put some packing paper in there to kill off any of the dead space. Um, when shipping doobie roaches, I like to kill off all the dead space. Um, I like to put a lot of packing paper in there. That way the dubias won't be moving around at all. So, um, you know, you can pick up the package and turn it. You won't hear nothing because it's very compact in there. It's very tight. There is no space for the can, the deli cups or the cloth bags to move around. Um, and of, of course, I also make some uh, ventilation holes, as you can see right there. I make a couple of them around the box. Go over to my Instagram and you guys can stay updated with all our, our availability and um, you know what we have available and stuff like that so um yeah now what we're gonna do is give it 10 minutes and then i'm gonna show you guys how i package up one doobie order i'm not gonna show you guys all of them because that would take forever but i am gonna show you guys how i package up a order for you guys all right guys so for example here i'm gonna show you guys how i package up um in order here for you guys so first of all we're gonna need a lot of packing paper Usually what I always, um, what I like to do is never squish it completely. Always kind of leave it a bit like fluffy. Uh, so that way this kind of remains its, uh, its firmness a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and add some more for this uh, specific order here. So in this one we're gonna go ahead and uh, put uh, one of our 5,000 uh, small doobies in here. So, and like I said, I'm gonna be shipping this uh, Priority Express. So this should get here, uh, it should get to you in in one day, hopefully. Uh, one, two days max, I believe. Uh, actually, I think it is one day, or it's overnight, yeah. Um, so uh, once we have that in order, um, we're gonna go ahead and place our dubias in here okay now we're just kind of now what, we, what i have to do is add some um packing paper around the edges here and then on top a little bit uh so let me put my camera down and show you guys the finish result. all right and that's how it looks right there so i did it around the edges like that there's two pieces on the bottom and take a look it's nice and firm it's nice and like spongy that's what we're looking for and the lastly the step that we need to do is grab another piece of packing paper here you can see i have a lot of it i use a lot of this stuff and uh lastly we're gonna put this piece on top like this it's gonna go on top and then we're gonna close the flaps put some nice uh, uh tape on there and like i said we have some ventilation holes um around the box for some good uh, breathable ventilation for our beautiful dubias. So yeah guys, um, that's gonna be it and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it gave you guys um, a little bit of an idea on how um, I ship dubias to you guys and that way you guys can kind of get a visual on what to expect when you guys order quality doobie roaches from us here at Food Chain Feeders. So once again, I want to say a big thank you to all you guys. Thank you for all your support. And if you guys have any video ideas you guys wanna see, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video. And like I said, go over to our Instagram if you guys wanna um, get some more updates on our availability and all that kind of cool stuff. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, peace.